Today we're using Microsoft 365 Copilot to set up your own career coach to provide you with custom feedback based on your work data automatically every week. This will help you get to that next level in your job. Welcome to Collaboration Simplified. My name is Shervin Shafi and I work at Microsoft as a Copilot Principal Technical Specialist. When designing this coach, I followed three basic principles. One, I wanted it to be easy to set up so that everyone could build it. Two, I wanted it to be a tool that everyone could use regardless of where you are in your career journey, from interns and junior positions to managers and even executives. And three, I wanted it to harness the unique advantages of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now with all that, let's get started. But before we do, please hit that like button as it really does help the channel. Thank you very much for your support and enjoy. All right, let's get started. I'm very excited to show this to you. I think you're gonna love it. So first thing we're gonna do is go to m365copilot.com in your favorite web browser. And what this does is basically takes you to the Copilot interface. And there's different ways of getting to it from inside Teams or even using the M365 app, but let's just do it this way inside a web browser. Now, if you notice on the left-hand side here, you're inside M365 Copilot, there's search, there's chat, which is what I've selected here. And then you have agents and so on, and I've created different agents over time. And what's really important is, if you look in the center here, it says work and web. This is your indication that you have the M365 Copilot license, because if you didn't have this box, work and web, then you have something called Copilot Chat, which is not the right type of license. It's not gonna give you access to all your documents and your data. So you really need to have this in order for what I'm gonna be showing you for it to work. Now, with that, Basically, we're gonna type in a prompt in here and then we're gonna schedule it. And I wanted you to know that scheduling a prompt doesn't have to do with this career coach that we're building. You can schedule any prompt, but I'm just giving you an idea of how to actually use M365 Copilot in this career coach fashion. Now, this is the actual prompt. And I have it here where I can basically copy and paste it. And don't worry, I'm gonna put this inside the description of the video. So you can just copy and paste it into your Copilot. You don't have to take a screenshot or type it out yourself. But let's go over what this says, right? It's basically saying to Copilot, hey Copilot, you are a career coach that helps me with my career. Once a week, you will review all my activities for the last seven days only. You can change that time frame to whatever you want. Include everything that I've worked on, like email sent, Teams messages that I've sent in chat, documents that I've shared or created in OneDrive, Teams meetings that I've joined and participated in based on meeting transcripts, and any other graph data that you have access to that reveals the type of work that I have done for the week. Now remember I said this is the power of M365 Copilot. It has access to all your graph data. And with that, I actually want to do a side note here. I actually tried to create this inside Copilot Studio because in the beginning, before I made this video, because I make a lot of agents, I thought, hey, why don't I create this promotion coach or a career coach and I'll give it instructions inside Copilot Studio and I'll share the knowledge sources, which you'll see in a second. But then as I was building it, I had to like add a bunch of different tools and connectors and, and triggers and it was getting a little bit complicated. So I gave up on that. And like I said, I wanted to make it very simple. So I actually did try to make this as an agent and for anyone out there who can successfully make this an agent, do let me know. I'd love to know how you did it and how it differs from what I'm just about to show you. Now going back to this in terms of the prompt, Basically, the next section says, you will analyze all the work that I've completed for the past seven days and compare it to my job role description as defined in the document located here. And I'm gonna give it the document. This is my current role at the company. Your company probably has a job description for what you're doing. Go ahead and get that from somewhere or contact HR, but if you can't find it, maybe your company has a job posting for a similar job that you can grab. The next section says you will also use reason to review the next level in my job role 
as defined in this document located here, I'm going to attach it, and provide me with a detailed summary of how I'm doing compared to my current job role definition. So I'm going to give it the next level, have it compared to what I'm doing today, and let me know the areas that I'm doing well in as well as identify any gaps that you believe I should work on in my current role so that I, so that I can get promoted, right? So do a little compare. What else do I need to do to get promoted? Provide your response in a professional manner and use tables to structure your feedback. Make sure to include references and specific examples of work that I have completed that you have based your feedback on. So basically, this is the prompt that I'm just going to go ahead and grab, copy, and I'm going to go back to M365 Copilot and boom, I'm just going to paste it in there. Now, the only thing missing is those files that I haven't attached, right? So let's scroll down a little bit and it says uh, located here. This is the first one. So pro tip, if some of you don't know this out there, you can use slash and that brings up a whole list of stuff like people, files, meetings, and emails. And I can go ahead and search for this entry PM job role document that defines the job and just boom, put it in there. And if I scroll down a little bit, the next one, it says located here. This is for the senior one that I got to put in. So let's put a space, put slash, and then put in the senior PM job role. So this is the next level one that I wanted to put in. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to show you that in my OneDrive for this user, I have all these different documents, but most importantly, that entry PM job role and the senior PM job role are in there. That's how I was able to use the slash command because it basically goes to my OneDrive. And for all of you out there, if you want to take a look, this is kind of like that entry level PM job role that I actually had the researcher agent create this for me, very detailed key roles of an entry level PM. Let's go to a different section here. Uh, core responsibilities around market research, defining product requirements, and the expectations of an entry level PM. So the researcher agent made all of this for me and similarly it made it for the senior uh, product manager role as well. So this is the kind of the data source that this prompt is going to be using and Cobile is going to be using to analyze. So going back here, with everything looking good, I'm just going to go ahead and select the arrow to execute this. Okay, so let's see what it says so far. Based on your request to evaluate your weekly performance against your current role as defined in the entry level role and assess your readiness of promotion to the next level outlined in the senior one, I've reviewed your activities for the last seven days across email, teams, documents, and meetings, and here's a structured review uh, of your performance and growth trajectory. So weekly performance, email sent, teams messages, files, all this stuff, alignment with your entry level PM role. These are my key responsibilities as defined in the document, my activities, my performance, have I met it, have I not met it? So it kind of defines all of this. Growth areas for promotion to senior PM. So senior PM expectations, current evidence, gap analysis. So this one says needs deeper ownership for the product, visionary and strategic. So it's kind of like defining all this. And I, I don't know if you're seeing all these numbers, right? But these are basically all these attachments and references that I asked it to use. We'll see that a little bit later. And it says recommendations for advancements, action, lead across functional initiative from concept to launch, demonstrates strategic ownership. That's why it matters. So it gives me all this information, gives me a summary. And then below here, these are all the documents. When I select this arrow, you can see that there's a whole list of stuff that basically it analyzed by giving me these recommendations. So just to make sure everything is looking good, Let's look at this one, right? This is a chat that I had with Sasha. So if I select that, it basically opens up Teams. And so let's take a look at that together. So this is the last seven days. Today is July 2nd. And it looks basically like on Monday, just a few days ago, I had this conversation with Sasha where I shared a PowerPoint. So I'll pick that up. Uh, this is a meeting that I had and there's a transcript that it used and it looked at the transcript. So it picked up on the conversation that I had in this meeting, which is, you can see this is a transcript on the right hand side. 
So it picked up a chat, it picked up a Teams meeting. Let's go back here and looks like there's an email here, customer insights. So let's open up our email. And this was sent on June 29th, so less than seven days ago to Corey about market needs and trends. So pick that up. And then it picked up this document that I created on June 30th called Collabmate. I had researcher agent create this fictitious product for me as well. So it picked that up as my body of work. And then other emails, other chat messages. You can see that it basically picked up a ton of stuff and it analyzed all of that. So it's doing a really good job. And one thing I want to show you before we schedule this prompt is if you wanted to keep this, you, you always have access to it in your conversations, but those are good for some amount of time, not, not infinite, right? So if you want to have like a hard copy of it as a document, you can go to any feedback that you get from Copilot. And on the bottom, you can see a bunch of different prompts, right? Thumbs up, thumbs down, you can share it, you can copy it. And then this one is the best one, right? This is actually something called pages. You can select edit in pages. So then it takes the prompt and it takes the output and it opens up another window on the right hand side. And now this is actually relatively new. On the top right hand side, you can see that there's a word icon. When you select that, it actually exports this to a Word document. So now you can put it on your desktop, you can put it on inside uh, OneDrive, you can put it wherever, but now you have a repository of all this feedback that this career coach is providing you. So all of the stuff that we just went over, it's here inside a Word document. You can do this with any prompt, not just what I've shown you here with the career coach. Now going back here, let's close out this section here, the pages, and go back to one of the important things about basically scheduling this, right? Because you want to get feedback every week. Now, if you scroll back up here, and this is the prompt that I gave it, you'll see that there's a bunch of icons on the top here, right? There's a editing icon, copying icon, and it's this one here that looks like a clock that we want. So when you select that, you can schedule the prompt. And it takes this entire prompt and it says, look, we're gonna run this every week at 6.30 p.m. until July 16th. Well, I wanna start running it on Friday and I want it to run by the time I'm finished my work at 5 p.m. And so for it to be Friday, I gotta get rid of all these other ones. And so it's gonna run every Friday at 5 p.m. until October the 10th. The reason why it's that is because the maximum times you can run it is 15. So after that, you got to rerun it. And so if that looks good, now you can just click save and it basically scheduled this prompt, hence creating that automation that every week you can have to basically see how you're doing. Now this basically says initializing here and over here it says active and I can just go ahead and X this out. And if you look on the top right hand side here, there are these three dots. And when I select it, I can actually go to schedule prompt. So what I just scheduled that's going to run next on July 10th is actually actually active and I can run it now. I can turn it off. I can delete it. And when it actually runs automatically on that particular day on the left hand side, you're just going to see it pop up. So it'll be this thing, weekly performance review, but it'll be a new one that just popped up for you automatically, hence creating that automation. Actually, I don't know if you just noticed, but there was a pop-up that appeared. Let's pretend it's a week later, and that's the scheduling that just happened. And on the left-hand side, you can see that there's a new weekly career activity with a green checkbox. So this is what it's gonna look like when it gets automatically scheduled and it executes. So it's next Friday. And if I select it, let's look at that. It's based on the same data because it hasn't actually been a week. It's just been actually a few hours later, but you can see that it has a summary of my activities, the team's messages sent, uh, analysis of my current role compared to my job description, along with all these different references. And then the next level senior product manager, my current status, feedback, 
and references, areas of strength, areas of improvement, feedback for promotion, all that good stuff along with the references are here. And so then we can go through the same steps of editing it in pages and uh, exporting to a Word document if we want. But that's essentially what it looks like when it does execute, it just shows up in your conversations on the left hand side. Now a couple other things I just wanted to end on. Scheduling prompts is not unique to what I just showed you in terms of the career coach, you can schedule any prompt. And so if you want to create an entire new workflow, for example, if your manager is asking you for weekly status reports, you can create a prompt around that. Or if you're writing a performance review and you want it to go back for the last three months or six months, you can create prompts around that. So there's a ton of things that you can do. This is more of a concept than anything, but I think it does work really well for your career as a mentor and AI being able to help you. I do also want to mention if you notice, it actually gave a slightly different take on the response the second time around. And that's basically a function of Gen AI. No two responses are going to be the same. Even if it's using the same data, it's going to generate a different result. And finally, if you actually did want to use the newly available analyst and researcher agent, which use the deep reasoning model, they give you a different perspective, maybe a much more in-depth perspective. So you can take the same prompt and basically copy and paste it inside there. I don't think today you can actually uh, schedule these prompts, so you'd have to do it manually but it might be worth your time to see what kind of feedback the researcher agent gives you. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Please make sure to give this video a like, consider subscribing, and in the comments, I'm very curious how this ends up working out for you, how you're able to improve it, and what other ways you use this technology in your everyday work. Thanks very much for joining, and I'll definitely catch you on the next one.